Hey everyone, I'm just showing you the flip through of my journal that I made for the uh, June Just Do It Junk Journal Challenge on Facebook. It's sponsored by uh, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. And um, we had different challenges. The first thing we had to do was make a cover with three different elements. And I've got mine hidden with this big um, bow, but that's how I'm going to close this one. This is actually a belt from some sort of shirt thing I got at a yard sale but I loved it because the fabric is just this iridescent green I don't know if it shows up on camera or not anyway I thought that would be a good um closure for it and on the cover I've got fabric I've got a stamped image I've got a, a ruffle a ribbon ruffle ma uh, image from a magazine and then this puppy sticker and uh, it's got three signatures and I use fabric to cover um the spine and it's a two inch spine I believe and then the back is just plain. Let me make sure it's a two inch spine. I don't have any measurements. Um, yeah, two inch spine and let's see this measures eight and a quarter by about five and a half. So the pages I know are five by three and uh, seven and three quarters. I did write that down. That's the only note I have written down. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, we had to do this challenge and we had to make, um, I think it was seven or eight dangles. So I made some, you'll see some on the uh, tabs, but then I decided to just take all of the extra ones and just add them to this tassel. So the tassel is on here. It's got ribbon lace, uh, eyelash trim, be dangle and it can come off because it's put on with this um, bow pen so it can't come off if it gets in your way so anyway I'm calling this the uh, cactus desert journal I'm not sure but anyway um, another thing we had to do let me just go real quick we had to do two belly bands three flips four tucks five paper clips six tabs seven pockets that was a problem eight charms I showed you that we had to do uh, edges on our papers nine different nine different edges Added to tags and quotes, mini collages, stamped and stencil images, flowers. And since I was doing cactus, I considered the cactus my flowers. And then fussy cut images, which I have plenty of all those things. So I'm not going to point out every single one as we go through, but I might mention a couple. So anyway, uh, there's one of my stamped images right there on the front. So anyway, let's go on in. Um, I, a lot of the images I got from um, magazines catalogs just different junk mail type things I didn't really I did not have a kit to go on I did have two sets of stamps and here's the packaging for one and I'll show you the stamp I got them in the wrong package here is those stamps and I've got them in the stamps package for these so I won one set at a scrapbooking convention last summer and that's kind of what got me started collecting stuff, cactus things, so succulents. So anyway, those are the two sets of stamps I used. And I also had another one, which I've got right here. Uh, it was a Tim Holtz one. It was just these different sayings. Because we had to have 11 quotes or sayings in here. So I just kind of gathered up all my quotes that had that. So anyway, there's one of the Tim Holtz ones. But anyway, um, this tag I took from uh, Artsology's kit, a uh, woodland journal, and I just typed a little um, quote on the bottom. So that counted as one of my quotes, and it's in this flip, this read it only flip, and here's another stamped image, and that counts as one of my flips. The um, scrapbook paper, I decided I was going to copy dye, and I was gonna be smart and go outside since, you know, it's summer, and um, dry it out there. Well, I was so concerned that it was going to fall into the swim pool that I tried to move it to a table that was the wind was going the direction away from the swimming pool, right? Well, it's wind and it's Oklahoma, so of course things didn't work out. So I went to check on them and I found all of them off the table and in the grass except two. One was swimming on the top of the swimming pool and one was down at the bottom, so I had to fish them out of the water. So anyway, <laughs> the only problem I had it was just a little bit of tear on this one so I put some washi tape on it but um, I'm not sure I'm ever going to copy dye scrapbook paper again because it was an ordeal but anyway at least don't do it on a windy day so signature cover is uh, scrapbook paper and there's some lace stamped image was washi 
This is uh, coffee dyed paper. Here's one of my paper edges. I just took a strip of scrapbook paper and put it on there. And this is um, a tag made from just different bits from a book. This is some um, trim that I just printed you know, on my computer. Some more washi tape. Um, a lot of these images are from a, some sort of book I had. It had all these different botanical images. And here is um, a pocket. It's made using a Kiwi Lane um, template. And I just cut it down and made a pocket. Got Rick Rack on it. And this is two fuzzy cut images, probably from a magazine or something. Here's one of the tabs and one of the dangles. Another pocket, another stamped image, fussy cut flower, some cheesecloth, and I just have index cards laying around, and this one just happens to be a coffee dye one. And when I have little scraps and bits left over, I just stick it on there. So that's what I do here. And you'll see this paper ruffle with the eyelash trim later on in the book. This is a ledger paper. This is some uh, scrapbook paper I printed. It was an image I got free off the internet. I don't know who from. It's been long, so long ago. Fussy cut image. And this is just a little flip out that you can journal on. And there's a image that I stamped and then glued onto that. Fabric tab. A woven pocket made out of a Reader's Digest page and some scrapbook paper. And I put a little um, quote on there and this is just a tag made out of book page and washi tape and fussy cut images some green paper this is um, a page from I'm not sure it's definitely vintage I think it might be from one of those um, better homes and gardens better homes and garden I think it is uh, gardening you know five ring binders coffee dye paper that I edge punched just two little planner pages a little pocket made out of a circle um, punch that I just cut part of it in half, two of them, and then one of them in half. And this is just a stamp image, a fussy cut image, just a little tag with a stamped image on it. And another one of those um, copy dyed index cards, with some washi tape, and just an image from a Reader's Digest book that had a cactus on it. Another thing we had to do was make the tabs. We had to have three different kinds, and I made, uh, one out of these little tags and just, you know, use my tiny attacher to staple them on, put a little stamped image there. And on this side, I just left it free like that so it could be a tuck. And this is just an old recipe card I got in the yard sale and some scrubber paper and a fussy cut image. This is my fabric flip. We had to have three different flips. So here's my fabric flip. And it basically it's just strips of fabrics. And then the, the fabric here that matches the spine and some uh, trim at the top. Signature center. Here is a tuck made out of just collaging and different elements and another quote and a tag made out of the same sort of stuff. Washi tape and a little bit of fabric and that's an actual stamp and a little bit of lace at the top. I put washi on some of these pages. This is a little uh, paper clip. We had to make paper clips. So there's the back of it. So this could be, I could have put another little journaling card or something up there. Um, there was two people on the internet that I've seen their videos that show how to make these faux um, postage stamps and I'm going to do another video later on and I'll link their videos to it. But it's just cool. You take a little square of, of book page and then just collage on it and put an element and then just a little stamp. Uh, it looks like a postage stamp. Here's another one of my quotes and this is my favorite one. It says, of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few of them are dirt. <laughs> that one's not a problem. Easy to do that. Okay, just another pocket made out of, uh, this is printed trim, some fabric and an image, and a little, i uh, call them messy journaling spots, and just another index card that I stamped on. Here's a belly band. It's kind of like a Franken paper, just little scraps. Then I cut it with scallop scissors. And then this journaling card is just made from an old book page. And it's just got images and collaging on it. Here is a tuck. Same sort of thing, Franken paper, then a, claw, a fuzzy cut image on it. And then this tag is made out of a piece of chipboard 
and I've got a napkin on it and this a velvet ribbon here and then some satin lace at the top, satin ribbon at the top for a tab. This is a puzzle piece that I painted and then just did some stamping on it and then a, um, not stamping, stenciling, and then a little fussy cut image. Another index card with just a little bit of washi, leftover washi and scrapbook paper and I thought it kind of looks like a stamp so I just left it like that. Here is um, a uh, napkin, Mod Podge on there. Okay, the next signature, I don't have lace but I have this bias tape sewn on there. This is the actual library pocket that came from this book. And the name of the book is At Least We Were Married. It was a true story of a man and his wife that on their, they left their reception just getting married. We're in a, a like a multi-car car accident and it killed her and she was still holding the roses from her wedding. So anyway, it was just their story. And that's the actual library card with fussy image on it and some lace. Edge punched on that. This is a sack made out of book page. There's some lace there, image from that uh, botanical book, and then a one of the um, quotes that came with the stamps. And this is uh, the pad of paper I use. Let me get it. Okay, it was a hot buy at Michaels. I bought it because it had a lot of uh, cactus stuff in it, except it also has a lot of beach stuff in it. So I have a lot of paper left over. And um, anyway, it had some of these little uh, journaling cards in it. So I cut that out and added an image to it, a little bit of washi right there. Because you know, we can't just leave it by itself. We have to do something to it. This is some ribbon on here. Here's my belly band with the image from a book, book page, and then some uh, trim there. This is a vintage um, postcard I bought at the local antique store. It was just cactus, and I don't know if it's got a date. But it's Big Springs, Texas, which my parents have friends that live there. That's kind of strange. But anyway, I included it. It's in here. And there's a little, another one of those faux stamps. This is a tuck just made out of three layers of cardstock that has been cut with three different punches. This is another one of those journaling cards from that paper kit. Another tab with a little dangle on it. Here is that paper ribbon I was talking about earlier. It's just ruffled ribbon with some eyelash trim stitching on it. So that's a paper edge. Here's the top tuck, and I just got this image somewhere on the internet. I printed it out to be a page, and then uh, somehow I didn't use it. But anyway, I just tucked it up in here. I thought it could be a little coloring thing if someone wanted to color it in. Another fabric tab. Washi. Here's another one of the quotes. This is, I said the other one was my favorite, but I think this one is. Advice from a sand dune. Stay loose, embrace winds of change, make positive ripples, don't get carried away, and show your true grit. And that's one of those that you have to read it a couple of times before it really sinks in. But anyway, I liked it. So I included it as my quote. This is a paper clip. It's like a little banner that's just got lace and ribbon and buttons and a flower and a bow image from a book, a magazine. Here's another paper clip and then just a um, envelope that I just kind of went crazy doing different collage work on it. And since that was crazy on both sides, I just put a plain little card in the inside. So I just kind of add some decoration to the page. And there's another one of those uh, tab tuck things book page. This is actually a double page. I have a little somewhere over here in my little stack. There we go. Back to where we were. A little tag that goes in there and then this bigger one. Just different collage elements. Goes in there. This is a, I show these a lot. It's a banner decorated on the front. And then on the back, it's got paper where you can write. So it's kind of like a little hidden spot. And it's just got some ribbons on it, stamped images, and a little quote. And then it's put on with this mustache uh, paper clip. And usually I clip two pages together. I think I'm good now. Okay. This is another one of those little flip out things. And this time it tucks underneath this piece of ribbon. 
This is another one of Artie Mays's, um, not, oh gosh, no, I do that all the time. Forget what I said. Art Zoology's uh, design from uh, the Woodland kit, journal kit. And I just typed in the quote on there. It says, reach for the stars even if you have to stand on a cactus. And then this is just a little booklet made out of book page. Belly band and a little booklet made out of playing cards. This is another image I got somewhere and I just made it into a tuck. Here's another vintage postcard. And it's just got a little poem about where out the west begins. A cactus on it and I don't think, this is also from Big Springs, Texas. Okay. Don't know how old they are though, but they're not new for sure. Third signature, we got lace um, off the screen. Okay. Another collage pocket with some trim and a guest check, check that I just kind of went crazy on. I wanted to include the spine of the book, but I couldn't really figure out where, so I, I put it here. At least we were married and just added some different elements to it. Messy journaling spot, an image from that botanical book. Here was a pocket made from an image from a book or magazine. Some lace ruffle, no, it's not lace, ribbon ruffle, and a uh, index card with some lace on the end, edge of it. This is a fabric label, so the colors are great, so I just put it on there. Another one of those tabs with the dangle. Scrub it paper tuck, this got scalloped edge, and this is just a journaling card from the kit, and of course I had to add this messy uh, journaling spot and a little stamped image on there. Another fabric tab. This is a book, an old book page. I included it um, and I flipped it up because I wanted you to see the image. It's probably on the other side. And I thought, you know, I'll make a little pocket out of it. It's kind of delicate. I put some washi there, um, but um, I think it'd be okay. You just take care, care of it. Uh, another one of my paper edges we had to do, I put a uh, napkin on it and then some rickrack. Another quote. And this is another one of those faux uh, postage stamps. And another tab here, which I don't have anything there. Center of the signature, it's from a magazine. This, these postage stamps were also from a magazine. That was pretty cool. And that's just a journaling card. I think it was from, I'm not sure. It's kind of like Project Life, but I think it was probably a Hobby Lobby's version of it. There's what I wanted you to see on that old book page, that whole image. And then uh, I flipped it up here, and I thought I had something to go in there. But I guess I don't. Uh, you know what? We'll just put this little piece of scrapbook paper in there if it fits. It fits. Okay, over here, this is a pocket made out of a pink envelope. And you fold it up, and like here's part of the flap. So I covered it with scrapbook paper. And I have a little tuck there, so I put that little tag in there. Here's um, scrapbook paper and an image, and then here's some rickrack, and then here's another one of those Project Life type cards. This is a tuck here. That's just an image glued on. And then another tuck. It's like a three thingy tuck. I put these uh, tickets in there. So tuck here, a tuck here, and then tuck here. This is a double belly band. I don't have anything under this one. Um, this one, I've got just this collage journaling card. I'll put the tab on there. So that printed uh, ribbon and just put it right here. This is a paper clip that I got a fussy cut image on. I went crazy with another collage thing and I don't even think I put anything in this one. It's just another little collage uh, envelope that you can put things in and it tucks under this music paper. It has a real stamp on it, a uh, stamp quote, and then some, um, what do we call it, napkin. Here's a pocket made out of a uh, business envelope, and I just got some little trim on it, and some ribbon and some rickrack, and this is an actual postage stamp, a little bit of um, cheesecloth under it, and then just a simple little piece of scrapbook paper put in there so you can see it through the windows. This is another large pocket, and I just got this image on there, and then a quote. 
advice from a cactus. And then another journaling card, but except this one's a booklet. So you can write on the inside and write on the back. It's just decorated with miscellaneous elements. This ruffle here is made from the same fabric. It's made from the shirt where I got this um, belt to use to wrap around the book. All right, we're at the end, and I've got this woven pocket made out of book page and scrapbook paper, and inside of it is one of my um, book page file folders. It's got all sorts of stuff on the front, and then you just open it up, and it's got blank pages where you can write on the inside. So anyway, that's in the back. So anyway, that is this journal, and I'm gonna be offering it for sale on my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. So if you're interested, you can go over there to see it. I'll have a link below. So I thank you for watching this. Bye.